Hello and welcome back, my crypto familia. Mr. Blockchain 22 here with a very exciting video. I have news that were released today about XTC and a new partnership. Uh, they partnered up with Bitcoin Group, and Bitcoin Group is an exchange. Bitcoin and Symphony announced strategic partnership to strengthen digital assets ecosystem for participants. This was released today, May 20th, 2021. The big one and same thing strategic partnership includes marketing services and technical solutions to bring together the ever-growing digital asset ecosystem. Symphony's mainnet token is XDC and to further relations, Bitcoin will list XDC on its trading platform, bitcoin.io. We'll visit the website and the exchange and we also uh look at uh a little in depth of what the what, what the exchange is about symphony is a great addition to a trading token portfolio allowing traders the ability to trade another exchange token on our platform symphony is a well-respected and active participant in the trading of digital assets bringing out two organizations will only benefit the trading community says suni chauhan chauhan Director of Marketing and Partnerships for Bquant. Symphony's hybrid blockchain protocol, the XTC network, leverages the power of both public and private blockchain paradigms, addressing institutional concerns regarding data visibility and audibility requirements, which is of particular interest of Bquant's institutional traders and investors. So you can read the entire article here. I'm not gonna read it all for you. I don't wanna uh, lose you trying to read this for you. So I went and I decided to start going through uh, Bitcoin's Twitter page and I did find um, this tweet that happened on April 21st, so last month, about a month ago. They tweeted exclusive crypto prime broker Bitcoin's Lance Marcus Bachi, Bachi, Bachi Howard, a 10 year Morgan Stanley vet. So I went to LinkedIn and I pulled up his page. This is him, Marcus. He's a director of institutional self sales at Bitcoins from Akshat, England, United Kingdom. And I looked at the about section of his uh, LinkedIn profile and he has over 20 years experience in financial services, 10 plus years at Morgan Stanley, plus seven years at ED and F um, skilled and prime brokerage and structural equity finance, specifically equity securities lending, listed derivatives, equity swaps, and digital assets. So you can see that there, the experience he has, equity finance trader, equity finance trader, ADF man, the, he was the COO of equity finance, and now he is the director of institutional sales for Bquant. So he has a lot of experience, especially uh, with the 10 years and six months that he spent at Morgan Stanley. So let's continue on to um, some of the other news that um, this is when they announced when they uh, hired uh, Marcus as the uh, uh, institutional sales director. So they can see their new hire based in London will head up institutional sales for Bitcoin crypto investors so you can see that uh, i found this on the street.com website and now they also uh, i started looking into bquant and what they are right so they recently and this happened uh on 10 uh, 10th may this year 2021 bquant gains vfaa licenses for exchange and prime brokerage the malta financial services authority has approved a class three virtual financial assets act vfaa license to be one pro to provide virtual financial assets services as a prime brokerage to experienced investors they also uh, were granted a class four vfaa license to provide the following vfaa vfa services to non-experienced and experienced investors the license granted in principle in january this year so and they they say here that they were uh they have been working on this since august 2018 in malta 
and they wanted to take advantage of the digital assets framework that was introduced by the MFSA in 2019. Both companies have been operating in Malta under the provisions of the VFA Act. So it's really, really good that they partnered up with uh, Synfin because they're going to create more exposure to the network and to more traders. And that's going to uh, create more demand for the use of the network and, of course, the token. Uh, the website, the exchange, this is what it looks like. If you want to go visit the website, it's bquant.io, and this is the landing page of the exchange. And you can see uh, the different tokens that they have here. I haven't logged on or created an account or anything like that, not yet. Um, so one thing that I, I wanted to point out is um, bquant is established in Malta with the, with the aim of becoming one of the first regulated exchanges in Europe and also um, here, uh, Bitcoin Exchange. Bitcoin Exchange is affiliated. It's an affiliated cryptocurrency trading platform providing unparalleled access to order matching technology, deep liquidity and tailored business to business institutional services. Bitcoin Exchange offers access to 20 plus major cryptocurrencies as well as US dollar, Europe, and GBP trading pairs. Bitcoin's exchange offers low latency co location facility hosted in a state of the art Equinix data center just outside, just outside of London, LD4 in, in Sloth. We offer our clients marketing low latency fixed connectivity to be Bitcoin exchange via hosted cross connected co located services or I'm sorry, servers, dedicated 24-7 IT support in points of present to other market participants, public cloud providers, and 20 and 200 Equinix IBX data centers across five, five continents, okay? So this is a really good exchange. Now, I started looking up about Bitcoins, right? I wanted to learn a little more about it. So I found this on YouTube. Um, it's called Three Days with the CEO of Crypto Exchange Bitcoins. And this is the channel is called Think Book to Media. And he was the um, the guy that spent three days with uh, the CEO uh, of the crypto exchange Bitcoins. So I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get hit with copyrights. But if you want to watch it, it's here. You can see the, it has the logo of Cointelegraph. So I'm sure Cointelegraph has some more information on in regards to this video and what was said. So if you want to go watch it, um, this is the uh, this is the title of the video. Three days with the CEO of a crypto exchange, big one. So I started watching. You can see I played it about 15 minutes. I haven't finished watching it yet, but um just a lot of information you get to see a little bit of uh the environment in the exchange uh of offices or facilities and uh it seems to be very relaxed and uh they of course it's in london so you're gonna see some of the london uh um, area there so wanted to uh bring that up to you guys i'm very excited about this partnership i am looking forward to see uh, the expansion of XTC as it grows partnerships and uh, develops new, um, hopefully, applications. And uh, recently there was a post uh, for a job application or a job because uh, they, were, they were hiring developers or so they had their hiring a developer in India. So I did retweet that. So if, if you guys are developers and watching this video and are by any chance in India, um, you guys can apply to that. Uh, they they are looking to expand on the developing side for Synfin. So that's all I wanted to bring to you guys. I, I'm very excited. Um, one thing, I do want to mention this, and I, I meant to do this at the beginning of the video. Um, I happened to be helping someone uh, just yesterday that he got hacked and he had uh, certain concerns with some of the things that the hackers might have access to. So. If you have accounts on exchanges, please, every exchange 
has a security feature. If you go to your account section, there's a, a section for security. If you go in there, you have a way of setting up a two-factor authentication. What is that? Well, that allows you to, besides your username and password, there is a, a Google Authenticator app that you can download to your phone. And what it does, it connects your account to a randomized uh, sequence of numbers that are in a timed manner. So when you log on, it's going to ask you, once you set it up, you're going to log on to your account with the username and password, and then it's going to ask you for the uh, 2FA authenticator number. And you can use that to complete the logon process, and that will give you extra layer of security to your account. So that also will be required if you set it up that way, which I re highly recommend you do, to uh, have to input that code that only you have it on your phone on that app. And that app is not a, a cloud app. It's only on your phone. It doesn't connect to anything else. So you are the only person that have access to this app. So when you log on, use that, and it's gonna you're going to need it for uh, depositing and withdrawing uh, tokens from your account. So that gives you an extra layer of security on every exchange that you transact. So please, please do so. I highly, highly recommend that you do to keep your account secure and you don't get hacked and you get your accounts uh, locked out and they wipe your, your accounts. And um, so please do that. And um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments or hit me up on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter. Um, almost 20 hours out of the day. So please um, don't, don't hesitate to ask questions. I'm more than glad to help you. So um, I hope that you enjoy the, vi the video today and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Have a good day.